Hi everyone, my name is Sharon. So just the other day I got a reminder from the Holy Spirit that no, what I am saying with my tongue is so wrong. What I am declaring is quite wrong. And many people, the reason why today they are suffering is because of the things that they have declared with their own mouths. They have confessed the things that they should not have confessed. They have made certain bad things their portion. Yet these things should not have been their portion. Yet they would not have suffered this way had they rejected it. So I remember this time I was having a conversation with my husband. I was like, yo, you know, now that you're acquiring this big expense or this big asset or whatever it means that now you won't have be you won't have the money to blow or to spend like how you used to be spending now it's going to be so strange you know and then it's like yeah i'm gonna struggle maybe for the first three months but after three months i will bounce back after three months i will i'll be fine and then i still continued speaking and it's like why do you have to be so negative why do you have to confess so negatively let's confess positively and i was like wow i was taken away by his words i was not expecting them here am i dwelling on how much little money we're gonna have but him he is allowing god he is allowing god to be the provider he is allowing god to open other avenues of income he is seeing more business he is seeing more work flowing his way although right Right now he might not know where it's going to be coming from but he is so confident that no he won't be stuck there just because he would have attained a new expense in his life it does not mean that now he's going to be strained now he's going to be stuck he still believes that more opportunities are going to be coming that is why when you read the book of proverbs chapter 18 verse 21 the bible says Verse 20, from the fruit of the mouth, a person's stomach is filled with the harvest of their, of their lips. They are satisfied. The tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. Hallelujah. So God is saying that sometimes when we read the word, we're just reading it like we are reading a storybook. We forget that those things that we are reading, we can actually apply it in our own lives. We can apply them to our own circumstances that they can make us full some people right now they are not filled they are in poverty why it's because of what they have confessed with their mouths and the bible is saying that with your tongue your stomach can be filled the same way my husband is speaking he still believes that he will be fine even after the big expense why he's already confessing it with his mouth so god is saying that let's make these scriptures practical yes we know them we quote them but we don't make them practical we don't make that healing practical we don't make that business practical many of the things we feel like no the bible does not apply to this circumstance that's why you find people who are not even believers because of their confessions they are making it big time in their lives but us as christians we don't use these confessions in our lives where we have to be applying the word of god where we have to be speaking positive about the situation we don't speak positive yes we might be going into the room to pray about it but sometimes you need to be acting in faith speaking what you see which other people don't even see in the mighty name of jesus amen